That moment where he's screaming and he's got the guy down below him and he's going like this to him. Oh. Finally, finally beat this guy. This win is going to reverberate deep into the night and deep into the year for Israel Adesanya. We're not even talking about who's next necessarily, and there is going to be a next opponent. I don't think they're going to do this third meeting between Adesanya and Pereira right now. And I would also say that if Hamzat Chimaev... Who will be the next opponent for the man who beat all the fighters in the world? Nobody knows. Although there is only a rumor about undefeated Kamzat in the neighboring division, it is a fantasy fight worth paying attention to. The hype is real! Hamzat Shemayev and Israel Adesanya! I've been in this game my whole life. I've never seen anything like him. This, is, this guy is one of the most special fighters I've ever seen, if not the most special guy that I've ever come across. And he kept telling me leading up to this fight, you think I'm a wrestler. You think I'm a wrestler. Wait till you see my hands. And holy He wasn't lying. Oh, just like that! If you have fight, give me fight. When, when you want, I'm gonna fight. UFC officially has a new super villain. I am, of course, talking about Hamzat Chimaev. Hamzat Chimaev, the wolf, undefeated 12 0, says that he has been offered four different opponents in four different countries and nobody will accept the offer. He says nobody wants to fight him because they're all scared, they're all whatever you want to say. Listen, man, Hamzat is a straight murderer. He's a killer. He is an absolute savage. And I don't blame anybody for not wanting to fight Hamza Chimaev. The new middleweight champion of the world, as we know, UFC 281 just finished. Alex Pereira got the job done, got the knockout, got the finish in round five in a fight that if it went a few more minutes, Izzy was gonna pick up a decision. Did you see the size of the fella? <laughs> like, why is nobody mentioning that? So I've, I've been face to face with Israel, and it's surprising to see. You're like, so Israel's pretty big. He looks tall and lanky, but he's actually a big dude. And then you see Pereira up against him, and just his facial features are bigger. His feet and hands and forearms are massive. I'm just thinking, like, who, who let this guy in? Alex had beaten him twice. When you find somebody that the last time you shared a fighting arena with that man and you were left unconscious, there's definitely skeletons in your closet. New middleweight champion, Alex Pajeda, puts his title on the line in his rematch against former champ Israel Adesanya. I just have to ask, what is this thing you're wearing on your neck right here? I'm a dog, it's a dog collar and I'm about to be unleashed. I landed that man and I did it again, boom. And I see him hit the ground, so I sent that from heaven huh. and I just landed on his head. In conclusion, you want to come back in the summer and it will probably be at 185. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready for that. If they put me against him, I'm ready, and then I fight to wait plus 25, I'm 185. This man is calling out everybody. He wants fights with Leon Edwards, Israel Adesanya, Islam Mahachev, Ali Abdelaziz. He is talking a lot of crap about the 185 pound champ. He tweeted at yeah. you and said, at Stylebender, easy Monday for me. Zero wrestling, one round, I'm gonna kill him. Kamzat, <laughs> I think Kobe called him. I never said it. Kobe. Oh. Kobe did, not me. I would never say such a thing. Why would I? Who's he for that 185? 
We'll yeah. see. No, and I'm not saying he can't look. He can beat a lot of these guys at 185, a lot of the top guys from what I've heard. But let me see it first. And then we'll start talking. Was still a welterweight. He'd probably be the guy fighting Leon Edwards. I know there are some hurdles to getting Hamza Chimaev to this middleweight championship fight. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if Chimaev and Adesanya fight next. I time. absolutely agree with you, John. You get the big, scary new kid on the block, Hamza Chimaev, yeah. and that, that's that would also feel like we're coming off of such a big moment. How do you how do you top it? I think the excitement level for Hamza Chimaev would be so so high. And I know that some people are going to say he doesn't deserve it. It's the biggest fight there in the middleweight division. I think he deserves it just for that reason. As we reach the heart-pounding midpoint of this hypothetical matchup, let's dive deeper into the skills and strategies that Komsat Chimaev and Israel Edesanya could bring to the table. Komsat Chimaev, with his dominant wrestling background and impeccable ground game, has proven time and again that he can control his opponents with ease. Is no easy task, even for the reigning middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya. Adesanya, has showcased his against some of the best in the division. And Asanya's ability to maintain distance and pick his opponents apart with pinpoint accuracy has made him a formidable force inside the octagon. His dynamic striking arsenal, including kicks, punches, and knees, has left opponents stunned and dazed. With Chimaya's relentless pressure and Adesanya's striking finesse, this potential matchup would undoubtedly be a clash of contrasting styles. The question on everyone's minds is, can Chimaya successfully close the distance and impose his grappling dominance on Adesanya? Chimaev would likely aim to utilize his powerful takedowns and relentless ground control to neutralize Adesanya's striking. Oh, oh wow! Oh. Straight right hand drops burns! Closing the distance and securing a takedown would be crucial for Chimaev, as it would allow him to nullify Adesanya's striking prowess and potentially expose the champion's ground game vulnerabilities. On the other hand, Adesanya's key to victory would be maintaining his distance and utilizing his unparalleled striking accuracy to keep Chimaev at bay. His footwork and evasive maneuvers could frustrate Chimaev and potentially open up opportunities for devastating counter-strikes. Ultimately, this hypothetical matchup is a collision of two incredible talents, each with their own unique strengths and styles. The outcome would depend on who can effectively implement their game plan and exploit their opponent's weaknesses. As we conclude our journey into the realm of imagination, we are left with one burning question. Who would emerge victorious in this dream clash between Kumzat Chimaev and Israel Adesanya? Only time will tell if this fantasy matchup will ever become a reality.